Hello and welcome to Reptile HQ. In this video, I'll cover a disease study that was done on 529 bearded dragons, which were taken to exotic animal clinics, and what common illnesses were found. I'll also do a recap at the end to summarize the common illnesses, the care problems associated, and what you could do to prevent your beardy from contracting these diseases. Ninety nine percent of these illnesses can be prevented with proper care for your pet. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting reptile content. The aim of this clinical study was to analyze the prevalence of common disorders in 529 captive bearded dragons that were presented to three exotic animal clinics in Central Europe over a period of three years. A diagnosis was made on the basis of the presenting clinical signs and physical examination in about 31% of the cases, whereas various additional diagnostic tests were performed in the other cases. These included diagnostic imaging, examination of fecal samples for the presence of parasites, a blood profile analysis, histological, as well as bacteriological and mycological examinations in necropsy, gastrointestinal diseases like constipation, sand ingestion, tympany, and meteorism were the most common disorders, and about 52% of the cases of constipation, endoparasites were present, whereas in around 39% of the cases of constipation, metabolic bone diseases and imbalances in calcium and phosphorus levels were detected. Most of the analyzed fecal samples were positive for the prevalence of endoparasites. About 23% of dermatology problems were skin tumors, which were observed in adult lizards, age range from 3 to 8 years, and included spindle cell tumor on the eyelid, as well as spindle cell sarcoma, squamous cell sarcinoma, and melanoma on the trunk. Limb fractures and various types of necrosis on the limbs and tail were frequently observed musculoskeletal disorders. Over half of all animals that underwent a blood test showed a deviation in the calcium-phosphorus ratio. Diseases of the urogenital system included renal diseases and dystocia. Neoplastic diseases besides skin tumors included two cases of leukemia in four-year-old bearded dragons, one of these with lymphoma in kidneys, lungs, and liver. Orthopedic surgeries were most frequently performed to amputate the limbs or tail, whereas soft tissue surgeries most often included the treatment of skin wounds and correction of cloacal prolapse, in addition to ovarectomy in female bearded dragons. Similar to the situation in Australia and the USA, Infectious as well as non-infectious diseases are common in captive bearded dragons in Central Europe. Due to the high occurrence of endoparasitism, skin diseases, and metabolic bone diseases in this present study, regular veterinary controls in bearded dragons including parasitic fecal examinations and optimization of feeding and housing are necessary to improve the standard of health of bearded dragons kept as pet lizards. So hopefully it wasn't too scientific for you to follow. If this was the case, I'm going to do a quick recap. In case it was, intestinal diseases like constipation and sand ingestion were some of the most common disorders. In more than half of the constipation cases, parasites were present. The second leading cause of constipation was from bone disease, calcium and phosphorus imbalances. This simply means reptile owners are failing in providing proper housing care and lacking basic dietary guidance. These common conditions are easily prevented with proper care. Common musculoskeletal disorders range from limb fractures to necrosis on limbs and tails. Again, properly setting up your housing and handling for your beardy will prevent limb fractures. There were a higher degree of parasites found throughout the bearded dragons, indicating once again a failure to either clean, diet, or house the bearded dragons properly. I source this directly from a researchgate.com publication, and the link source will be in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gained a bit of insight. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.